G'day, welcome to Barney's Daily Devotionals. I'm on leave, but I'm pre-recording these uh, just as a word of encouragement. We're going to be reading through the letter of 2 Timothy without comment, just a little bit at a time, and in the next three videos we'll, we'll have read the whole book. I hope you find it stimulating and encouraging as we think through and hear God's word about what ministry looks like, about what the church looks like, and what it means to run the race and fight the good fight of faith. So here we go. We're in 2 Timothy chapter 1. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, according to the promise of life that is in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, my dear son, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord, I thank God whom I serve as my forefathers did with a clear conscience as night and day I constantly remember you in my prayers. Recalling your tears, I long to see you so that I may be filled with joy. I've been reminded of your sincere faith which first lived in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice and I'm persuaded now lives in you also. For this reason, I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power, of love, and of self-discipline. So do not be ashamed to testify about our Lord, or ashamed of me, his prisoner. But join with me in suffering for the gospel by the power of God, who has saved us and called us to a holy life, not because of anything we have done, but because of his own purpose and grace. This grace was given us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time, but it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Saviour, Christ Jesus, who has destroyed death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. And of this gospel I was appointed a herald and an apostle and a teacher. That is why I'm suffering as I am. Yet I'm not ashamed because I know whom I have believed and am convinced that he's able to guard what I've entrusted to him for that day. What you have heard from me keepeth the pattern of sound teaching with faith and love in Christ Jesus. Guard the good deposit that was entrusted to you, guarded with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives in us. You know that everyone in the province of Asia has deserted me, including Phygelus and Hermogenes. May the Lord show mercy to the household of Anesiphorus, because he often refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chains. On the contrary, when he was in Rome, he searched half for me until he found me. May the Lord grant that he will find mercy from the Lord on that day. You know very well in how many ways he helped me in Ephesus. You then, my son, be strong in the grace that's in Christ Jesus. And the things you've heard me say in the presence of many witnesses, entrust to reliable men who will also be qualified to teach others. Endure a hardship with us like a good soldier of Christ Jesus. No one serving as a soldier gets involved in civilian affairs. He wants to please his commanding officer. Similarly, if anyone competes as an athlete, he does not receive the victor's crown unless he competes according to the rules. The hard-working farmer should be the first to receive a share of the crops. Reflect on what I'm saying, for the Lord will give you insight into all this. Remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, descended from David. This is my gospel for which I am suffering even to the point of being chained like a criminal. But God's word is not chained. Therefore I endure everything for the sake of the elect, that they too may attain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Here is a trustworthy saying. If we died with him, we'll also live with him. If we endure, we'll also reign with him. If we disown him, he'll also disown us. If we are faithless, he will remain faithful, for he cannot disown himself. We'll pick it up from chapter 2 and verse 14 tomorrow. Let me pray. Father, we thank you that you have been at work in us, in our lives, as we believe the gospel. You've given us your Holy Spirit, a spirit not of timidity, but of power. And so, Father, we pray that we might be bold in our witness towards you and to our world. We pray that we might stand for the truth. We pray that we might be like the hard-working soldier, the hard-working farmer, and the hard-working athlete, perseverance, diligent in our service of you, always wanting to grow in our faith and help us never to be ashamed of the gospel, but to cling to it, to guard it, and to promote it as it is the way that people come to life. And we pray that we'll do this for your glory and honor. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 
God bless everyone.